Welcome to the third final Stroger, Frogger stream. Which is not to say the third one from the last one, but the third time that I have said, yeah, this will be the last Frogger stream. Because I thought I was going to finish this two streams ago. Unfortunately, first the final world proved to be a massive he headache, and then the final level in the final world proved to be as worthy of its own entire stream, potentially. Are you going to show up? I'm, I'm, I have the game running. You can hear it, but you can't see it. There it goes. I don't know why EPSXE takes a while. So, this might be a long and painful stream, or this might be a short one. I have a, I have a YouTube comment. I'm not sure if it's the same person who's been commenting on the other Frogger, Frogger streams, but uh, Inkblot says that it is actually possible to skip the stupid beetle path that I've been struggling with entirely. Like, I don't have to bother with it at all. Which, if so, great! Let's see if that works. Oh, I, I had to do a thing in this, didn't I? I had to, like, time my beetle jumps in a very specific way. And I had to rotate the camera. I, I only have... It's been a while. Not as long as other Frogger streams, but I only have a vague recollection of what I did in this level. So I want to... Phase 1. Find out which spot I want to be on in order to safely make this series of jumps. And then I have to rotate the camera and not jump off. Uh... So Book of Mario is on hold. As is, I was planning to do some streams of game prototypes. Those are on hold. And the plans to do multiplayer Ocarina randomized is on hold. Because for some reason, OBS, the broadcasting software, is currently having issues with recording bordered windows. Like, all bordered windows. Which includes the N64 and Game Boy emulators. Not this one. This one's fine. Dolphin for GameCube is fine. But until I get that resolved, there's just some consoles I cannot play, unfortunately. Okay, where am I going? I need- I think this is the right way. I need to go down here. No? This is not the right way. Ah, birds. It happened when I updated my uh, graphics driver, which would seem to point to the graphics driver, but that has been updated again since. That hasn't changed anything. And because it's not just one program, it's an issue with OBS. And the OBS Discord has not, uh, they don't have any ideas, so. I have no idea what my next step to, f to fix half of our emulators is going to be. At least we can still continue uh, Twilight Princess. Hat in time. A lot of the games that we are playing. I was thinking today about doing uh, Spelunky with Jack again. We only really did that once! 
Wait, okay, where am I going? Now I'm confused. I may have to I may have to check my own video again. Okay. Is it? Oh, okay. It's a little past. There's right here? Okay. Well, that's quite a leap, but I guess it's helpful. I wonder... Was that intended? I'm sure they knew about it. This was in the days when they actually play test play tested games, but how else did they really expect you to do the whole beetle path otherwise? Ah, uh, no, Splunky Two, Darren, which I. Never, I kind, I kind of gave up on. It's difficult enough that I don't know that I'm capable of doing the secret ending stuff in that game. I mean, eventually, I'm sure, but I just... I get too sad after I die in Spelunky. It's one of those things like Crash where you spend just way too long on a single level, on a single attempt. And then when you fuck it up, you just you, you don't have the heart the heart to start over again. I, I only have one spelunky run a day in me. However, it's much easier on in co-op. So I'm thinking that might be our key to actually getting to the end. Playing a little risky. I shouldn't be going quite so fast. I don't think. There's a hole in that mountain. I can't do anything with that, can I? I just saw that. There's like a path through there. Okay. So that's where those boulders are. Does that go anywhere, I wonder? So safe spots next to the cactus. No, that doesn't go anywhere. Well, that just goes in a circle. Why would I ever go through the rock area? Ex unless I can jump down from... Oh, there's the stupid bird I gotta ride? So where does this go? This goes back up a, a rock mountain. Oh, there's so much I gotta do here. <gasps> One too many button presses. This level's a piece of work. Sonic 06. Didn't realize that Lacey Shabert voices uh, voiced Elise, original voice of Meg in Family Guy. I thought Meg was always uh, Mila Kunis. Was she not in season one? Oh, really? Ribbit. 
Yeah, this will be a short stream. It'll be easy. We've got the hacks. We can see the matrix. We'll just breeze right through the level now that we know the secret! Huh. I, I didn't know her voice had ever changed. Did any other Family Guy characters change uh, voices partway? I remember some bizarreties of like season one Simpsons. I, th I think the most jarring one that was that was that Carl was white. Plenty of time to disappear, because apparently they need it. I'm actually gonna go a little further so I can get that. Okay. Come on. Where are you, bird? Really? Oh, that's such a small window! I missed it. Man! I, I missed it again. I don't like this. Okay, the bird's here. I made it onto the bird. Thank fucking god. I'm finally down at the bottom of the ravine. I can't wait to see what's gonna kill me here. Boy, I wish I could zoom out the camera. That'd be wonderful! Okay, there's lizards. Can't see. Hello, Globus. Where are the birds at? You mean uh, this spot on the wall right there? Yeah, I thought it, I looked at that. I thought it looked suspicious, but 
there's no way to, like, jump through there or take advantage of that in any way. Come on, bird. <sighs> Can't see. Okay, there's tumbleweeds. How heavy can those weeds possibly even be? This frog's the size of a car. I get scared. I get scared off by the rock. I got the pattern down for Mr. Bird here. Mr. Bird's wild ride. <sighs> so that is the... Let me just scope things out. That is the way to the crocodiles, I think. Which, is there only one frog over there? can't see from here. <sighs> I'm gonna go for red. I know where red is, and I've wasted a little time this run. Just gotta watch out for Mr. Lizard. Is red the only thing over here? Oh, there's a couple bugs. Can't see. The camera's going into walls in this level is nice. We're still in the process of even locating all of the frogs in this level. I don't know where they're all at. So I assume there's two down here. two down there. There's one up the first boulder path. Maybe there's two up there. There was a game on the PS2. It was about like a firefly. I don't remember the name of it. But it was kind of like, in gameplay, it was a lot like a spiritual successor to this game. 
It would have been a good kind of Frogger PS2 entry. I don't even know what to go for first. I have yet to get the crocodile one. Maybe this is the maybe this is the time. Get some much needed one ups. Okay, there's one over there. There's green. Is that all that's here? Oh, I gotta memorize patterns? They don't even have the decency of, like, going in a line. Zapper, that was it. Developed by the same studio that made Frogger 2. So Frogger, this and the sequel were made by different studios then. Would you call Frogger 2 any easier than this game? Come on, bird. <sighs> yes. Well, that's good. This, this stupid bird. There it goes. That was some awful timing. Am I even going to make it to red? Is there a time bug here? Got him. Try the crocodile one again. I should really be looking for the ones I don't know the location of. I guess I'll do that now. Needed extra life. <coughs> Why can't Frogger swim? He's a frog. Played Frogger 2. I had the I had the demo on PC. So I played like one level of it. It seemed easier, but also the levels were bigger and longer than the ones in this game. Well, the one level I played was pretty meaty. find out what that banana does. Eventually. If I 
If I still fail to beat this level after another stream, I just toss it. Practice stream doesn't count. We'll do it next time. Oh, that's not gonna happen. We're totally gonna do this. So they're like individual lines of rocks. up here. Okay, that's a weird camera angle, but I'll take it. I'm amazed they didn't put some kind of assholery up at the top of the cliff. So that's three, three frogs accounted for. Let's see if we can find a fourth one. This goes up another rock path, I believe. Yeah, it's this one! With the weird patterns! And the weird camera! If that's the case, there's still a fifth frog somewhere. Where could that where could that one be? There aren't two I wish I could just see across the crocodiles just to make sure there aren't two over there. Which would be unfortunate, but at least we would know where they all are. expected there. I wonder what happens if I jump down from there. If there's more area. Again, prioritizing the ones we haven't been to yet. I guess I should check this, like, lower path section. What? I can... No, this just goes to the beetle area. Yeah. And there's nothing over here. Okay. 
Okay, so I gotta memorize where the safe spots are on each end of the, the cliff wall. I just, I just rush through and hope that the birds aren't coming in that part. I guess I could- I haven't ridden the bird a full cycle. Maybe it goes somewhere else that I haven't been yet? able to zoom the camera out more often in general would be wonderful in this game. Okay. <sighs> Where am I? so close. On one hand, I don't want there to be two up there. On the other hand, I don't know where the fifth one is if he's not up there. I don't think I've had to look up the location of a frog in this game. Someone who's been watching the streams can correct me. I think I've been good for the most part. I, re I remember having to look up something, but I don't remember what exactly! I was, of course, told about this uh, beetle skip, which, thank fucking god. Because if not for that, I might have been putting this stream off another month. I am ready for this game to be over. I like it. I like it for what it is. Boy, it doesn't pull punches, though. The middle spot is always safe. Because it seems like on the two ends, the rocks always land on the tile closest to the mountain or farthest of the three tiles. <sighs> yeah, I think a lot of the a lot of the fall skips are probably not intended. I don't, again, I don't know, though, because, again, they playtested pretty thoroughly in this era. I can't imagine they weren't aware of it. Maybe the playtesters gave us a freebie. Maybe they chose not to mention, hey, did you know you can skip this part? Because they, too, were sick of this game's shit. 
Okay, middle spot. That's where I am going to aim. <laughs> Not fast enough. Always land on the farthest except the one on the bottom. Okay. These beetles have no defense mechanism on top of their bodies. I should absolutely be able to stomp their asses like Mario on a turtle. Also removed a cactus that would have blocked you in the previous version. Okay. Maybe it was intentional. <sighs> Games of this era usually like to reward exploring. Back in my day, extra lives meant something! You were lucky to get 30 coins! hitboxes lasted as long as they damn well wanted to. I am amazed that didn't kill me. Okay. Always the farthest. <sighs> Don't know what's going on. Where I can't see. I could... Man, I wish I could have scoped out the platform. I, I can assume there's only one up there, but... Maybe there's not. Maybe there's like a bird that goes somewhere else. I gotta go up there now a second time to find out. I'm too afraid of the rocks to go exploring. Rocks can but not even the rocks aren't the issue. It's the fact that I can't zoom out and see where the rocks might be. I have such a tiny POV. Which I know it's a, it's a meme. This game needs more POV. But boy, I'm actually I'm so appreciative they zoomed out for this rock wall section. Can we do that more, please? Globus, do you happen to know if there's anything else up there, or is it just the purple frog? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna call a friend. Okay, so fifth frog is unaccounted for. Yep. 
nothing up here but a purple frog. Well, now we know. So my next theory is either there's more across the crocodiles. There's either two across the crocodiles that I can't see from this angle. Or I need to ride the bird further? I, I, we, we did confirm there weren't any in the beetle area, I think. Oh, that's not a safe spot. Almost forgot that for a dire moment. Where are we going, bird? Just a circle? You just go in a circle, don't you? Okay. Thud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I guess we'll check out Mr. Crocodile. Oh, oops. Miscounted a little bit. Man, even if you get down there, there's not a vantage point that you can stand at just to see across the crocs. And there went all of my lives. I think that's, yeah, that's Cactus Death. I don't think I can get down anywhere on that side of things. It's so arbitrary. Which cacti kill you, and which ones just block you like walls. Let me double check there was nothing over here. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Oh, there we go, all five frogs. I did forget there was one on the, over here. Frogger does just explode when he touches a cactus. And a surprising number of things, for some reason. He's a very squishy protagonist. Okay, well, that's good news. All five frogs are now accounted for. I'm still gonna focus on the crocodile one next, because that's the only one we have still yet to actually reach once. And once I get him, that's the run. That We got it. Okay, let's go. I'm feeling lucky. 
camera, please. When does he go down? Like the hitbox disappears before the crocodile seems to. Unfortunate timing. Come on, bird! Okay. Things don't really just line up perfectly. So you can just get completely screwed by the way the birds and the rocks happen to line up for a run. crocodile. They have to be on such different patterns. I think the crocodile is going to be the hardest. Or at least the most RNG based. I mean, it's not random, the crocodile patterns, but I don't have time. I can't see them all to memorize them. Also, it's on a timer, so I can't, like, sit there for a while and memorize them. I don't have that option in this kind of game. It's time for the once a stream mention of this game did not need a timer or lives. It would be a fine game without either of those things. Green is usually considered the hardest part of this level. I would imagine... So I'll be going for him first, get him out of the way, and once we have a successful green, that's when we start the run for realsies. Come on. Should have been more patient. I, I, I... Camera messed with me. The fourth croc doesn't move. Okay, that, that is helpful. If I wasn't fighting a timer, I'm sure I would have been able to sit there for a little while and see that. I can't even see the crocodiles from here to look at them. I can't, I can't think of any better vantage point. In real life, this would be the perfect spot to look at the crocodiles. Not in Frogger. If someone wanted those crocodiles dead, this is where a sniper would stand to do the deed. Not Frogger! Rewatching some old uh, Vine Sauce streams. And some chat folk made the argument that basically there are no games on the Nintendo, Nintendo 64 that hold up, was the argument. At least in the way of 3D platformers. Like that they all have uh, bad controls, bad camera. Which, yeah, I, I can kind of understand with the camera, but I still think a lot of N64 games hold up. Even platformers. Okay, frog... Uh, crocodile number four. Got him! And with three lives. Now's the part where I get cocky and just ruin it all. Oh, 
Okay, what's the next? What's the next hardest? Red's not too bad. Probably the, probably purple. I'm gonna worry about purple next. Okay, so always the outside. Other than that bottom instance! Got him. It's safe. I'm gonna wait on my triple spot. So this will probably be a short stream. I don't think this is gonna go two hours. Now that we found the secret. I probably shouldn't be saying that, though, because we still haven't seen the, uh... We still haven't seen the banana level. Boss, whatever it is. Oh, purple would be a nightmare if you had to go through the beetles. The beetles are so... Impossible in this level's layout that I can't imagine any serious person wanting you to actually go through them successfully. It's like the written exam in Naruto. You're not supposed to actually answer the questions. You're expected to cheat. That's how you prove what a gamer you are. Ah, I missed the bird. Also, these rocks appear to be changing patterns. Oh, they're alternating is what's happening. Because sometimes they explode on the one I'm standing on, and sometimes on the one to the right of me. Come on, bird. Okay, let's go for red. Red, and then orange, and then we are good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to gold. The uh, YouTube commenter mentioned the level and area that the gold was on for this world. No! <sighs> okay, that's fine. We got lives. I didn't read the whole comment. Because I want I to wanted at least try to find it myself, but I know what level it's on. red right now. Ah! There's not like a different ending for uh, having all the gold frogs versus not, right? There's not like a 100% thing in this game. Like, should I do it without all golds first? I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I whiff this now. Slow and steady. Timer is a non-issue. It is an issue, but I'm going to pretend it's not for the sake of not dying. Okay. I'm in my safe-ish spot. Okay. There is. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do I'll do the the final thing without getting all the golden frogs first then.
Don't care about the time. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to get that red frog. And now we just have the orange. If I die three times on my way to this orange frog... It's not going to happen. There's no way. I got all the time in the world. I can be slow and careful. <gasps> and dead. I don't think it's a significant enough difference, though. What, is it just like an endgame message? Like, hey, you did it, but be try get getting all the gold frogs. Is that all it is? Imagine, there's a bird going over the go the orange frog. Imagine landing on the bird and dying before your corpse got the frog. Alright, so, gold frog is in crumbled point. I'll do some looking before I read the rest of the comment to see exactly where it is. I, I don't like being on this side of the buffalo because I can't see where they're coming from. Here's a random new thing since I last streamed. Taco Bell has wings now. Like chicken wings. I got them. I don't know why I got them. I don't even like chicken wings. Not the real bone-in kind, anyway. Which they are. They're fine. They tasted like chicken wings. I enjoyed them as much as any other chicken wings. What do you suppose the chances are of me finding this frog without being told? Like, how mean is it? I've been over here. I remember all this area. Is it in here? I don't know. Yep. I saw that alcove and I just never went inside. Alright, well, GG's. Time to explode on cacti. Take a buffalo or two. G. G. Save. That shit. For the first time in my life, I'll have a completed Frogger save file. So as a kid... How far did I get? I got to the Sky World, and I never got past that. The weird shit with riding the formations of birds... ...and jumping on balloons was too much for, for little Zelrog. I don't believe I ever unlocked the sewers. So I got through most of the game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine worlds if we count the banana. I got so I got through like a little over half, but two thirds of it maybe. All right, we are now going to the tropics to uh, help catch monkeys with Spike from Ape Escape. They were monkeys, weren't they? In Ape Escape, but yet, and yet it was called Ape Escape. 
Oh, them, them's big butterflies. Is that going to give them indi indigestion? It's like a pseudo-classic frogger. Uh-oh. And how long can I stay on the hippos? Oh, hello. That rhino likes the coastline. I kind of expected this to be like a boss. But are there... I should have paid attention at the start of the level, see if there are, like, the usual five frogs. Yep, there are five frogs. So this is a level level. 45 seconds. Oh, where do you go? You go into death, so I don't want to be on you. There's a bridge here with piranha. Oh, the bridge falls. Okay. Would have been good to have some indicator of that, but oh well. Okay, so there's one frog across the bridge. I, I see monkey. I hear monkey. Well, I can. I don't even need to go across the water that much. I can just go across. It's a log bridge. Oh, that is a the Crash Bandicoot plant. Frog is as big as a monkey. And also a bug. Wow, the animal kingdom in the Frogger universe is nuts. So there's a safe spot opposite the plant. This seems a little diff- there's a lot of hazards on this level, but so far it doesn't seem... Like anywhere close to the previous level. It's like going from the jungles to the ice caves in Spelunky. It's supposed to be a breather. Apparently. Where's this go? This just goes down the line. Man. Did I eat a bad bug? Where'd all my time go? Across the plant. What even are those? Slugs? Here! I found orange. Do I get points for narrowly dodging hazards? It, it kind of looks like that's the case sometimes. Oh, 
Okay, so there's orange, but there's still more. There's another bridge that goes to purple. So there's at least two of them and maybe more on that path. The game inter internally labels those as porcupines. I could see it. My next guess was going to be hedgehogs. Oh, okay. That was very forgiving for this game. That monkey hit box! Oh, I can go up here. Okay. Was there anything over here? No? There's a temple. Do I need to unlock the Temple of the Frog? How get to green? There actually were hedgehogs in a previous level. Oh. So, so far, I know how to get to three frogs. And I know where green is. I don't know if I can one-cycle that first. And I also don't know where a lot of these floaters go. So I might need to ride some more of these to future frogs. Is that a bad one? That is a bad one. Okay. Oh, that's a really rapid bad one. I don't want that at all. I need to find number five before I do anything else, so I guess I'll ride this fellow a little further. How far, though? Okay, so there's an island over there that I haven't been to. like that piranha bridge. I can't, like, wait for a good time to go through the piranhas because then the bridge falls apart. Uh. Maybe I can get a little bit luckier with the crocodile this time. Okay, so th this is what I want to ride to get to this piece of land. Oh, okay. Well, what's up here? Anything? Nothing. It's just a random-ass mushroom. Ah! How did I survive that? Well, here's another frog. So who's still accounted for? I know there's two across the way? Yeah, there's two. There's green and something over there, and the one across the across the Prana Bridge. So I think I know where they all are now. I don't know how to get to green is the problem, and that might fuck me. I need to seek out the path up to Green's little temple hideout. Ah! Speaking of cameras, well, you can't uh, can't see the monkey through those leaves unless you like stop and look for a second. Which, once again, the the uh, timer interferes with your uh, motivation to do so. You're actively discouraged from stopping and looking around. Okay, let's see if we can make our way to green. Green is up there. 
And the way to him appears to be across this bridge in some way. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know how to get to green. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Any, any ideas for getting this green frog? I can't ride the hippos because they go underwater at that point. This doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna have to spend this run on... What's it? Who's up here? Oh, I thought I thought there was another one I knew about. Oh no, green's the last one. Hmm. Now do... I kind of want to look up so I don't waste these four frogs that I've already gotten, but... <sighs> I guess I'll be good. I'll explore. I'll die again. I'll figure it out on my own. There's nothing over here, is there? No. It looks like there might be like a little hidden path, but that's going the completely wrong way for green. Don't, is there even a way to one cycle that? Man. So far, I'm enjoying 06 more than Sonic Adventure 2. Eh. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna defend Adventure 2. I don't think there's ever been a really good 3D Sonic game. It's just, there's just been the potential for one. And we've just been waiting for that potential to be met forever. And it just never has. Oh? Well, hmm, no, that doesn't help. I can get onto the wall there, but that wall doesn't connect to the wall that Green is on. By the look of it. Once I'm up here, that doesn't help me as the thing. I can't get up there in any way. That's not helpful. Can I go... Is there an opening I can go through there? It looked like there was a little hole. front of that plant. Okay. Yeah, I can go through there. Okay, this has to be where green is accessed. Yeah. Alright. Well, there are mystery solved. There's a weird way to get to green, but... Let's nab an extra one-up or two before we continue. Yeah, 
Yeah, this level wasn't too bad. Ah, stupid monkey. Let's go for purple. Purple had a lot of flies around it. Give me them points. No, still no one up. Okay. Well, what's left? There's the one over on... The, there's the one over in the plants to the right. I guess I should go there. That probably has some bugs! Okay. That's fine. We know where they all are. This level's not that bad. Stupid Monkey was involved with uh, Robot Chicken. I don't remember what else they did on Adult Swim, if anything. They really couldn't start those crocodiles in a place that you could one-cycle this. I guess we, we have pointed that out in previous levels. The first cycle is different from later ones for some reason. Man. Every cycle after the first one is the same. It's very strange. So what logs do I need to take? Uh-oh. I think, is it this one? Oh, it's going perfectly in line with the, the, the rhino. I think this is what I, where I want to be. <gasps> okay. Okay, so I know the path to red. I gotta get a little bit lucky on the bridge to the Piranha Bridge one. A little bit. That's not bad. First cycle is different because of the panning shot. Oh, is that what it is? What an oversight for a game like this that is heavily dependent on where everything is positioned in the level when you begin. I did, shouldn't have ate that. I know better. Oh, it is. At least it's gone now. I'm gonna challenge myself. This is gonna be the, the one where I get green. Never mind. purple first, just so I have those extra points and lives, if any. stupid monkey again. The lawnmowers are still the most terrifying thing in this game. Man! The lawnmowers and the cacti have the nastiest frogger deaths. Man! That's another thing I can't really see. I... I've usually just been rushing up there and getting lucky that the bug wasn't there. Because there's stupid tree leaves in the way. You know what? 
There we go. Maybe, maybe this will be better for me. Not really. Oh, this is gonna mess with me now. I gotta change it back. Okay, monkeys accounted for. Plants are out of the way. We're good. We got this. This is the one. Look at that. Be a shame to fall off there. We opened the frog temple. Look, it's home. Oh, we gotta make it to the temple now? Really? I guess I'm not... I, it, why else would it be on the level if we didn't have to get there? So it's like there's a sixth frog on just this level. That's alright, I got lives for it. Jinxing myself even saying that. Where's the monkey? Okay. Oh, the timer stopped. Okay. Well, there he is. He's the final golden frog. What are all these? Just frog statues? What happens if I jump in here? Do I go to the, the end? Do I fight the ender dragon? It's probably death. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So, if I didn't have all the golden frogs... ...would just say, hey, good job, but the door wouldn't open? We really gotta watch all of the frogs. Is this necessary? Honey, why are all of our all of our kids gold? So there are five colored kids, but eight golden kids. Oh, we got like a sad remix of of the the Frogger theme. This is gonna play at Frogger's funeral. One of them. He's had hundreds by now. Level design. Those are who you have to blame. Is it gonna name the testers? Do, are we gonna see our hero who left the, uh... Who left the, sh the skips in? I'm still confused by the state of Frogger's children. Because he had... I, I thought the five color frogs... I thought those were his kids, but then he takes the golden ones home? Did he replace his colored kids? Was this Frogger's quest for a new family to replace his shit kids who keep getting to the most dangerous spots all the time? There's actually some deep Cronenberg metaphor for all of this. Where the colored kids were actually just like the the, the, the the ghosts of his former kids, the representative of Frog's Regret or something. Like how they made a cinematic movie out of Battleship? I want to see them do that to Frogger. We got UK testers. Why the UK specifically? Could could that not have just said testers, or were there different testers in different countries? Konami and Frogger are trademarks of Konami. We'll never see a Frogger game again.
I should have typed E-N-D. That would have made a good highlights ending. Well, GG, there's Frogger. We finally did it. It took... I expected three streams. Took five. Still, just for one level. Well, two levels. We spent an hour and a half on two levels. And only because I had extenuating help from multiple players of this game. I, I don't know if I would have figured out that skip to not do the beetle path. Oh, that's right. They are doing the weird Frogger game show, aren't they? I forgot about that. Well, uh... I'll eventually do Frogger 2. Which I've never played, so that will be new to me. And I want to do, uh... Probably start a new Trials game soon. After which, you can totally look forward to the forward to the rest of the Frogger series. Great series. Never went downhill. I'd love to play the entire, entire series of games beginning to end as much as Konami's put out. But unfortunately, uh... That's it for today. That's a joke. I think I'll settle for just playing the first two. And, uh... I don't know about tomorrow yet. I think Jack is off. Maybe he'll be up to stream. Maybe he won't. Maybe I'll do another solo stream. Maybe I'll go back to Crash. I've actually been getting some Platinums. Who knows? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.